Hello, 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 and welcome to another Rangaroo cast, me, Rangaroo. And today we're doing a 1v1 on a river runs for us. And Rao at the bottom, in the blue, players. Rao Chimera, we got the Commissar, we see him quite a lot. And up top, in the red, playing as Cartel, we got It Meag Beer. So as usual, let's speed this up. And this will most likely be a long match, because this is... This is the river run through us. This is the campy map. So I'm going to keep us on a rather high speed. So anyway, Commissar, going for one oil and one aluminum. Got itself a Rax. And its man got one oil and one aluminum, but it hasn't taken over the entire field. Got a few contractors and vipers. You know, just pretty standard early game stuff. Nothing really too much to say. I'm just really curious about how aggressive both players will be because this is a map where you can easily turtle and a lot of players rather turtle and get super weapons than being aggressive and fighting. Yeah, both sides are building up. We've already got the Spear Vehicle Bay being brought down from the Commissar. And it's man getting his Vehicle Depot out. We're also getting a lot of refineries and this is another map where expanding is rather easy. Because it's behind your base and all of this is rather safe. So building stuff back here, you don't really have to worry about it getting destroyed. It's the stuff up here and here you have to worry about, but that's only like a few oil fields. So yeah, Commissar being quite small, getting some sentinel turret out. And even yeah, there's a aluminum field. In its mag. Pumping out automatics. And getting them refineries and looms, and the sea's already got refineries pretty much all over the map. And now the automatic's taking a long route round, not wanting to go by the bank, and also avoiding the recon. There he goes, he moves up. He's flanking around, trying to get any of the outliers, but. Commissar hasn't really expanded yet, so there's nothing back here to shoot. And oh, it's Mac getting. Oh, damn, it's Mac's really. really expanded quite early on. He's already got the Togmag generator out, got a helipad, getting a stealth lab. You know, he is. Yeah, it's a very fast tech up. A lot of cartel players just like to. Stick into the early game automatics and super hinds, but yes, man, going right for it. And the commissar, let's take a look at his base. He already got a defensive center out, getting an auto repair upgrade, getting a research lab, so he's also tacked up quite a bit. So, yeah, both sides getting lots of technology and resources and buildings out. Now <laughs> see, already again, Atacar missiles full of Terminators. So this has pretty much gone from 0 to 10 within a rather short time period. And it's my game, actually some Vanguards, oh my word. You, you, you don't you don't see Vanguards. You never, you never really see them. They're, they're like Contractors 2.0. A standard infantry unit, but they're really good. All good at doing what they do. Kind of like Delta Force, and you see that arse. Also, Cloaky Pokey. Loading up in the Cloaky Pokey Saddle Hawk. And they're both sides, really as expected. Just playing defensively as hell. Tacking up all they can. Short Vehicle Bay being brought out from the Commissar. Harassment from each mag, almost ready to go. It's a lot of vanguards. No AT capability. Base is charging right for the bank, completely clears it out, and clearing out the buildings nearby. Vanguard's very good at that CQC fight. No extra soldiers trying to take the gun, but the vanguards beating them out. We've just got to give the side of the to of help now. Enemy 
I don't know, he's, he's, he's just trying to capture the buildings. He's actually doing a rather good job. Oh, Commissar, why, why, why did you not get the field, field kit upgrade? Oh, now he got it, thank God. Did you need that field kit upgrade? He is attacking with the Terminators. Vanguard's going to really do anything. They can slowly peck away at their... Oh, my God, nothing too substantial. This Terminators just rush into the building. No longer got Comanches. Those are Comanches, aren't they? Yeah. And Comanches, very Stealth great harassment units. Not good in the front line, but for destroying refineries and refinery harvesters. Fantastic. They can do a lot of damage. No, those are some Valkyries. Doing some napalm. Stealth enemy unit detected. Causing quite a bit of damage. The nice thing about Valkyries is this long, long slew of napalm. Like an F4 Phantom in Raw game. Army side getting more and more Terminators. Recap in his bank. And it's Mag, yeah, he's got a lot of resources. I can just tell by the bloody base. You're up in another. Another Napalm Dallas? Just check. Unit yeah, that's a lot. Attack. That's a lot. Commissar. Yeah, that's a lot. That is also an awful lot. Now, I'm wondering if super weapons Stealth are turned off. I've, I have a feeling they're turned off. So, no nukes. Bad crimes dropping more nape. Stealth enemy unit detected. And Commissar is holding his ground, and this is. This is actually a rather good strategy for this map, just bombing the enemy base of airplanes. B2s also do a fantastic job at this. Not really so much for Chimera, because you don't really. They got the X32s, but they're not as heavy duty as these Valkyries. Or Valkyries, whatever you want to call it. And there's a constant nape. Commissar really has to get some pants ears. His base has just got rickety wrecked. I mean, it's a scorched earth policy here. More nape and commissar. He has this rather nice terminator force, but he's not moving up with it. He could at least do some harassment. But he's being rather defensive, staying his ground, and it's Max that's going to turtle in. And he's got the accelerator, got got the thingies. Yeah, control tower. I forgot the name for a second. There's just nape everywhere. We gotta speed this up a bit more. Someone's got to someone something. Someone's got to like, attack with a full on force. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Commissar's moving up. The Terminator's doing their thing, terminating. Oh, too bad he doesn't have the uh, AA missile upgrade. Because that'd really help killing the harvesters. <laughs> oh, I like it. That's a really cool feature. The the bombs hit the bank, but instead of going in a straight line, they all hit the top of the bank, so it adds to a lot of damage. It's cool how they actually simulate bombs like that. Now we got Nate being dropped on the Terminators. Now, Napalm doesn't do too much damage against vehicles. It's over time you really have to start worrying about it, but look. Commissar just getting right in there, going for the attack. Now get that railgun turret down. I mean, the problem with being that is the base is stealth, so Commissar can't see anything. Oh, no, he can. And yeah, he's doing a lot of damage for his few Terminators. It's doing the right thing, because if your opponent's playing spamming, they probably don't have a good. Oh, I just realised that is a lot of smoke from a napalm. Let me zoom in right here. I can hardly see a thing. We've still got the Terminator more late. But yeah, Combis are definitely doing the right thing because if your opponent plane spams, they don't have a ground army. They're not going to have as big as a ground army. So instead of having no ground army, you sit here and take bombs from the air, just bloody attack with him. Because even if you don't completely kill the base, look, he did a lot of damage. Any. He sort of forced its mag. 
to napalm his own base at the same time. So, kind of a ring ring. Problem with Valkyries is that they can cause a lot of collateral damage. And we've got two repair outposts, an air control tower of its own, but no Packer face being built yet. Got Pantsers being brought out. Did he lose his HQ? No, he didn't. He might not think about it getting a second run. And oh look, can we say he hasn't even expanded down here? Like he, a lot of his places are still untouched. This is a lot of money that's missing out on. Yeah, it's Mag just going in for the nape. They're like flying darts. We got three of them from that dartboard. Get 180 most likely. Stealth enemy unit detected. They call me sir to sit him back and. Oh, he actually managed to shoot one down, which is good. Get some more of his pansies. He can actually defend his base. Stealth enemy unit detected. Is that? Oh no, I thought I thought it was an enemy unit, but it's just. It's just a rare air thingy. No, a commissar just sitting back, taking the damage. It's got some extra soldiers in here, it's getting cleared out by Spectrus. No, I think the bank's gonna get blown up. Yeah, it's gonna get blown up. And there's a lot of resources as the exo soldiers run a rain to start uh, rousing the refinery. And then if, once Spectra comes, they're just gonna run down here, aren't they? Oh no, they're staying on the ground. Constant naping runs. Just well dropping down nape. And the be sorry, might uh, attacking now will probably wouldn't work as well because they are spectral on the field. But he really needs to do something on his ground army because he can't just sit here and take all these all these planes to the face. It does seem like huh? It's Mag did unbuild his plane areas. Stealth enemy unit. Yeah, Commissar's detected. got a nice amount of AA now. Stealth enemy unit detected. Jackal trying to scare away the Axos, a few Spectres out. Stealth enemy unit detected. Stealth enemy unit detected. No, look at yes, he's moving all the way around the flank with his stealthy spectral force. Stealth enemy unit detected. Sort of hitting the behind of the commissar. Draw the commissar respond. No, he will not. Instead, he's going to do a counter attack of his own. Let's. Let's slow this down. So we've got Pumas and whatnot, and Crossers. So these Crossers going in. The Crossers going into attack mode, ladies and gentlemen. We've got Exosoldiers taking this bank. Crossers going around here, crossing enemy things. He's actually... He should be... Is he, is he stealing resources? <laughs> oh no, he captured them. Oh, I see. He captured... <laughs> The enemy refinery and now it's taking resources and it's mag spectra is just sitting there going, What the hell's going on? Oh he didn't he didn't set the fire mode on that, yeah, yeah, I see, I see. Uh, <laughs> it's just bonk. Yeah, I am I'm, I'm happy I actually animated a ground slot so it doesn't just like really glitch through because it's usually a helicopter that picks up from the cartel refinery. We got boomers over here doing boomer things, I yeah. Operator's going to get operated. And this is just a bizarre match. I mean, it's Mag's got all this stuff over here. He can easily just destroy his base, but he just needs to turn off, hold fire. And we've got a few Tigras here. Do Tigras have AT? Uh, they don't have any upgrades, so they're going to be pretty pants. Just an, just, just an odd match. we got Commissar and his Terminators back here. Also, just sitting around doing nothing. I um, guess he's just have them here so when planes spawn, which I'm not gonna do anymore, he can just shoot them down. And just. <laughs> I'm amazed it's Mags just letting this go on. Because he. 
His crosses are just going right by its line. He can just put like one or two unit chain completely cut off the entire supply line. I mean, this is like a standard day for him. Going there 9 to 5 to the enemy refinery and back. Just what an odd, what an odd match. No, it's Mac still back here. I think both players just sort of ran AFK or had a heart attack. Oh, never mind. Got me so as I see attacking with some Tigris, so they don't really have any upgrades. They're not going to be great against tanks. We got rhinos pounding away at its max base. And rhinos are actually really it's good at killing like, buildings, as you can see. And these vectors, what are you doing? The Tigris getting right in there. I know he's blowing up the Togmac generator, that's going to cause a big boom. Kaboom! Yeah, there we go. The joys of having a Togmac generator, it can come back and kill you. And that stealth lab might, might die because of the fire. Oh, that's going to be a same. Oh no, it's getting repaired just in time. And what will... I think it's my rent AFK or had a heart attack like I said because he is not responding maybe he's running out of kit Yeah, Terminators, Terminators trying to get the HQ there we go there he goes uh, see a tank in now. It's gonna be knocking out Commissar's HQ. It's just a really old base trade at this point. And now it's Mag Surrender, or he hasn't surrendered, he's been defeated because he pretty much lost all his buildings and. Have you achieved yet? I'm actually amazed. The Commissar run that one, because that Napalm bombing run was crazy early game. It's a lot of damage. But yeah, good good job for actually pulling through, because sometimes you just need to push through, just to just attack with the ground forces. Especially when they're Terminators. The Edge Mag, I think he, he definitely ran AFK during that last part of the match, but he was doing a rather good job. I think he just needed to do, actually do a bit more attacking and offensive play earlier on, you know, not just an A-palming with the Valkyries, but do the Coupe de Grave, like, ground units to come in and treep up the area. But yeah, just another odd a River Run for us match. No super weapons, which is a, a different. I mean, it's nice seeing it end in a more traditional means, and yeah, nukes going off everywhere, so I can't exactly complain. But yeah, a good match overall. This has been another Angler Cast, and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And as usual, Please just take it easy.